your home with Cottage Farms. This is the one piece braided gardenia tree and it's a live plant. Now this plant you'll be able to grow outdoors all spring and summer long and then you can actually bring it indoors during the colder months to enjoy the beauty of the tree and of course maybe even a couple of blossoms. M89464 is your item number. If you're the person that loves the scent of gardenia, this is the way to truly enjoy them with the most beautiful like beautiful petals. Oh my God, can you? Oh, just, I know. It is so. Katie Dubo, everyone. Oh. She's <laughs> Cottage Farms representative extraordinaire, brings us the most beautiful. I mean, like, we had such a great oh, show a couple weeks yes, ago. We did. Um, but let's talk about this, okay? Because when I see this oh my God. substantial like, beauty. Kapow. Right? Yes. This, this is what you're getting, by the way. Look at what you're getting. It's gigantic. It's this huge. is not a small tree that we're sending you, but it grows into the most majestic centerpiece of your garden. It really is. And I couldn't believe it when I saw this ship sample. I was just so impressed oh. that it is, you're getting, already what we've done at Cottage Farms is we have taken this tree mm. and it is hand braided. So this is the first time that I have seen this. Mm -hmm. It is so In a gardenia, special. yeah, I've never gardenia. seen it. Yes. Never. It is so special that we have hand braided it. But we've also done this now for three years at the farm. So that's why you are getting such a large tree. It's already three years old. Old. I I want to show you the buds on it. It is loaded oh, wow. with buds. Yours may or may not have buds, but mm -hmm. when it arrives to your home, it is going to be ready to bloom. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's ready to go. And this is just an enormous ship sample that gets shipped right to your door. No mm -hmm. worry about putting it in your car. Wow. And then getting it home. Gardenias are known for their fragrance. Mm -hmm. We Roxanne De Palma's daughter actually said to me, I, this whole studio smells like gardenias. But you know, here's the thing, right? It's like the most inviting gardenia fragrance. Sometimes it can be very sharp. Yeah. This one is almost like sweet mm. and alluring. Mm -hmm. You know, my grandmother loved rose fragrance and she loved gardenia Smart fragrance. Woman. And both of those, like both mm. of those scents just remind me of her mm. every single day. But I'll tell you this, when I look at a gardenia, you don't see anything else except for just like pure innocence no. and beauty. Beauty and elegance. Right? Mm -hmm. And I like that you said inviting scent because my, it reminds me of my grandmother too because this is a symbol of hospitality. This flower in the South, if you are from the South, you likely know this because every home in the South has gardenias by the front door, by the back door saying, come on in. My grandmother did as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so what they like though, so if you do live in the South, you can have these outdoors year round. But if you live in a a place that gets below 20, like Alberti said, yeah. you can bring yours indoors. I have a tree like this in my home, well, it's not beautiful rated. Yeah. Yes, and um, it just lives in a sunny spot until the last chance of frost has passed. Fewer than 1,200 to go around. If you want them, this is what we brought in for you, brand new today. Um, it could be the only order of the year. If they sell out today, who knows if we'll have them again. At $24.75, try this out. Now, Katie, I'm gonna ask you this, because I know yes. with our, many of our live plants, we send them to people when it's time to plant them in the ground, yes. but because this is going maybe in a pot of some mm -hmm. sort, do, do we send? Do we get these right away, or when we're do we get them? We're still going to wait to ship it, just okay, because it could, even though it's not that cold right now here in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. we're, we don't want to run the risk of it getting frostbitten on the way there. On the way there. So um, we, this will ship to you at exactly the right time for you to bring it outside. That's and wonderful. I would say this is a great if you're you know in that place where it gets below. 20, take it and put it in a 14-inch container. That's okay. what you're going to want to do. That's what decorative oh, then you can containers, bring it in and out. then you can bring it in and out. Slip it in a nice decorative pot. Obviously, I think two would be best because by your front door, you would be just welcomed by this absolutely luxurious scent. Now, Katie, I'm going to ask you the question that I know every single person who's watching right now is asking. Do I have to continue <laughs> braiding this? Because if I have to continue braiding yeah. this, that, that's a little bit more advanced. No, and it's the same thing with our hibiscus tree. People ask that all the time. Yeah. And because the tree grows from the top and it's going to twist around as it grows on this its own, so there's beautiful. nothing that you need to do to continue to um, keep it. Now, the one thing you will want to do to keep this lollipop shape is right about this time of year is when I'm pruning my gardenia in this okay. lollipop shape. Okay. Um, but otherwise, that's all you need to do. 
and it will continue to grow in this really elegant looking this so, giant ship sample you get home just to remind you this is what you get <laughs> right like i'm six foot two this is a really nice sized plant yep. right it t took them three years to grow it before they send it to you and what's really nice about it is they've done all the hard work <laughs> because We've for real it. that's when it's the most like temperamental is, is in the first two or three yes. years so like when you if you're saying to yourself like oh okay well i'll buy a smaller one and i'll grow it myself first of all it takes too much time yeah. i want to see the blossoms flowers? yeah yes. will i get the flowers this mm -hmm. year oh uh, yes this thing yeah. is loaded with buds you are going to get so many flowers this, this year particularly in this oh variety gosh. that we chose we chose it for we have a lot of different gardenias that we bring but we chose this one for its giant mm -hmm. flowers yeah you're getting an up close of the bud they're really big wow. flowers and you will absolutely get flowers this year because this is an older more established plant fewer than a thousand now remain M89464 is your item number. You know, you also get the beautiful foliage yeah. that is like this waxy, perfect, like when you bring it indoors throughout the winter months, it's you're going to appreciate how pretty that is and yeah. how much life it brings to your home. By the way, when it comes to caring for your gardenias and getting the most blossoms as well as the most fragrant flowers, we'll put up the information on the screen in just a second about what kind of bud and flower booster from Cottage Farms to use because these need the more acidic one. Correct, right? exactly. Yeah. And this also works on your blueberries, your hollies, these plants that need more acidic soil. So our fertilizers come in little pods and it's That's really nice. easy, especially since these are container plants, you pop one per one gallon of water and start fertilizing it as soon as you get it because that's going to promote those amazing flowers so your tree will look like the one we have here on set. So pick them up while we have them for you. It's the centerpiece of your garden. Now fewer than 900 remaining and we have it for you at that easy pay of just $24.75. Okay, Katie Dubo, we have a date on Saturday. Yes, we do. With these most amazing knockout roses that when we launched them here at QVC, like it was the, the best item <laughs> of the day, I think, yes. right? See um, then? If you want the Cottage Farms uh, one piece braided gardenia tree, please check out of your shopping cart now, M89464, because we are busy um, and we've been busy all day today. All right, but right now, um, I've got something for everybody out there that traditionally says, I have a black thumb.